And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Monday morning on fine weather, the first graphic here for Monday morning. Pretty good over the interiors VFR here from the eastern Arctic coast right on down into Bristol Bay, Kodiak Island. IFR here along the northwest coast and also western Seward Peninsula down to the Yukon Delta, extending right on down to the Alaska Peninsula and then back to the VFR here to the west and then more IFR coming in to the <coughs> excuse me, western Aleutians. And in the Gulf of Alaska, we've got some IFR with marginal VFR up into the Copper River Basin, Prince William Sound westward uh, into the Kenai Peninsula there, and marginal for the Panhandle. For the afternoon, southern half of the southeast coast becomes VFR, and still a zone of IFR staying off the coast there in the western Gulf with some marginal VFR over the Kenai Peninsula into Prince William Sound, and the North Gulf Coast, the interior, VFR, uh, across just about all the interior with the lower conditions out toward the Yukon Delta coast and IFR up to the uh, Bering Strait, some IFR still Kivalina, Point Hope, Cape Lisbon, and uh, IFR back out over the Western Bering Sea with uh, VFR for Adak and Atka all the way into Nikolsky, maybe on Alaska as well. And for the uh, Tuesday morning outlook, we've got uh, possible VFR up into the Perilof Islands down in Nikolsky, but IFR advancing eastward here, at least to Adak and extending northward there, possibly to Gamble and the Bering Strait, some IFR for the southern slopes of the Western Brooks Range and marginal VFR in the Western Central Arctic Coast, VFR on the east side. VFR here from the upper Yukon Valley right on down into the lower Yukon area and into Bristol Bay and the Cuscombe Valley, Western Alaska Range. And we've got marginal VFR kind of advancing westward here over all of the Kenai Peninsula now, Southern Cook Inlet and the Copper River Basin as well as the Southeast Coast. And then for the afternoon, that uh, pulls back a little bit uh, with uh, marginal VFR for Prince William Sound to Kodiak Island. VFR, Kenai Peninsula, Cook Inlet, on up into the uh, Manuska Susitna Valley areas. And much of the interior, again, only some areas of marginal VFR possible along the Brooks Range there, North Slope, much of the Arctic coast, VFR. Southeast coast, mostly marginal. And out to the west here, Big area of IFR slowly advancing eastward here, almost to the Pribilofs and uh, down to Adak and Atka with uh, VFR for the Eastern Aleutians and Alaska Peninsula. Passes for Anatuvik and Adigan. Brooks Range looking pretty good for the day on Monday, both uh, VFR in the forecast for both those passes. And for Lake Clark and Merrill, VFR as well. Rainy, VFR, windy, same forecast, VFR and Isabel and Mentasta, both VFR. Tanita could be occasionally marginal at times and VFR at other times. Portage will probably mostly be VFR and Chilkoot and White, same forecast, mostly v marginal VFR. Freezing levels here, uh, 4,000 feet over the Northern interior and then down across the Southeast part of the state, rising up to six to 8,000 feet over the Southern Panhandle. And out over the Bering Sea, 6,000 feet there near St. Lawrence Island, rises all the way up down to about 14,000 feet around Amchitka Island. And for the icing, we've got that uh, weakening front, just a weak trailing edge dragging across the west central Aleutians there, bringing a threat of some light icing in that area. And also up here, Seward Peninsula, on up across uh, Western Brooks Range, Northwest Coast areas have the threat of some isolated moderate icing there. And then possibly some mixed icing here over uh, Cook Inlet, Susitna, Manuska Valley, especially eastward here across the Copper River Basin, North Gulf Coast into the Northern Panhandle. And the jet stream, uh, upper level low, right around Yakutat there, and a good jet to the south of that, uh, up to 105 knots, not quite reaching the southeast coast. Northwest to northeast flow here over the western interior, not too bad, 65 to 75 knots here at 33,000 feet. And then back to good northerlies right across the Adak Atka area up to 105 knots. And 9,000 feet 
Westerly flow up here along the North Slope and Arctic Coast, 30 to 35 knots, strongest back here over the Chuck CC. High pressure, light wind conditions, eastern, southeast Bering Sea, into the Gulf of Alaska, stronger winds out there to the west, and the southeast coast looking pretty good, light variable at 9,000 and 3,000 feet as well. Just a weak low in the Gulf of Alaska with not much of a wind field around it at this elevation, and uh, pretty good winds over the interior, but Southwesterlies or west southwesterlies 50 knots hitting the uh, western Arctic coast there. And that translates into an area of probably considerable moderate turbulence there from Point Hope, Cape Lisbonne up to Point Lay with light to isolated of moderate turbulence, western Seward Peninsula, of course through the Bering Strait and St. Lawrence Island, all the way down to St. Matthew Island. Otherwise not too bad, pretty uh, smooth everywhere else.